everyone, how's it going? It's Vasco from the Angular University and in this lesson we're going to learn a couple of different ways of using ng-model. ng-model is not only for bidirectional data binding, there's more to it. So let's take an example. Sometimes we simply just want to initialize a form with certain values that arrived imagine from our backend, but we don't want necessarily to keep the value of the form all the time in sync with a certain object. Maybe we want to wait until the whole form is valid before retrieving the data. There could be several reasons. Anyway, ng-model supports that and more. Now, one aside, how do we handle this radio button in Angular 2? We usually want to assign to a radio button we want to have it associated to a TypeScript enum, in this case the student level, where you have beginner and advanced, the different levels of a lesson. Well, an HTML form does not give us an enum, it gives us a string, simply put, the string that we have specified in the value attribute of the radio button option in the form. How can we deal with this? Since ng-model is continuously reading and writing into the lesson object, level property, what we can do is we can use TypeScript's getters and setters to transform the enum back into a string and vice versa, like we're doing here. Now, ng-model works also only for initializing the form. You don't have to use it always for bidirectional binding. If you just want to initialize the form with the content of the lesson object, but don't want to bind to it all the time, you can do so by removing these round brackets from the ng-model attribute declaration. Let's try this out. If we now edit the title and the duration fields, the values are not being reflected back into the lesson object. But if we now edit the student level enum, that is still being bidirectionally bound because we are using the famous banana box syntax for the student level field. But remember, ng-model and Angular 2 forms in general is about data binding and validation. You might not want to do any data binding at all, not even setting an initial value in the form. You might only want to use the validation functionality of forms and ng-model supports that. If we want to do that, we simply remove the brackets notation from the ng-model attribute. We simply use it like this. If you enjoyed this tutorial, you can always subscribe to my channel for more upcoming Angular 2 tutorials. Also, have a look at the website of the Angular University to see what type of Angular 2 tutorials you find there that you might like. Let's try this out. As we can see now, there is no data binding at all being done, not even an initial value. But validation is still working. The validation functionality that sets the CSS state classes like dirty, touched, that is still being applied to this field by ng-model. But okay, what can we do with these classes? Uh, we are not displaying any error message to the user. How can we do that? How can we give the user a good form user experience using Angular 2? We're going to find out in the next few lessons.